Good morning. It is Tuesday. It's like really dark out. Um, the sun hasn't come out, but it's like 11 o'clock. Yeah, 11 11 on the dot. And I, it's National Coffee Day. I'm completely out of coffee in my house for breakfast. So I just got Dorian to go with Honey, and now we're gonna go to Duncan because apparently National Coffee Day means free coffee with any purchase. So I'm gonna go check that out and see if that's true. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a bagel and how do I get there? How do I get to Duncan Donuts this way? But today, as a research day at the University of Georgia, we do not have class today in the Dodd. Um, I don't think it's a research uh, research day for the entire university, but it is for our arts school. Um, so I'm not teaching my class today. I want to go to studio. Yesterday I was so tired and then I put on those comfy clothes <laughs> and then I didn't feel like leaving at all. I'm using Waze right now and the speaker is Batman. I guess you can do like a Batman guided navigation. You could choose Joker or Batman. Maybe in preparation for the new... Um, in half a mile, turn left. New Batman movie that's coming out, and he says things like, "Exit in one mile, be ready." And then, like when I started it, he was like, it's "Time to suit up." The point of this is that I prefer DC movies. In a quarter of a mile, turn left. Okay. Um, I know exactly where I'm going. I just want to hear him. <laughs> I prefer DC movies in the DC universe. I like those. Which do you prefer? Do you like Marvel or DC? Point one miles. Turn left. Turn left. In half a mile. Turn right. In point one miles. Turn right. And then. Turn left. Turn right. And then. Turn left. Turn right. And then. Turn right. What the fuck? No! Turn right. Oh my god, this line is insane! It must be free coffee day. <laughs> no. Literally all the way back there, and then we're all supposed to be like turning into this line right here. Oh no. Oh, no, no, no. They have a sign that says, All the fall things. And I was immediately like, All the fall things that are on the menu from Duncan are here. <laughs> no, I didn't even think about what I was going to say. Trying to read the menu from this far away. It's difficult. Alright, I have free coffee. And it saved me like two sixty five. I think is what it saves you. They were out of bagels. I got a donut and a muffin. Pumpkin muffin. like blueberry in it. This is not blueberry. This is not pumpkin. This is blueberry. I like blueberries. Oh my. This is really good actually. For blueberry is really good. You know, I really like their coffee. Genuinely I get it and I genuinely do like it. I like it better I think than Starbucks coffee. Like the flavor of the coffee. Not like the mix-ins and stuff. I prefer, obviously, Starbucks' mix-ins. But this tastes like shit. <laughs> and it was free. <laughs> so I do hate to waste this trip. And there's an Aldi right here. Oh, that's so bad. Um, I don't normally go to Aldi. I'm gonna see if they have like chia seeds and like flax seeds. I'm gonna get my peanut butter that I really enjoy. Um, not much else, that's not, I don't really get much else from Aldi, so we're gonna go do that. It's raining a little bit, oh. Um, Dorian's here. But he's fine. <laughs> he's gonna be fine. Maybe, I chocolate chips too. This one's much bigger and much nicer than the one that I normally get. It's like booty inside, unexpected. This one actually has decor. Hold on, hold on, let me make work. Okay. 
two things of my favorite peanut butter that you do have to mix yourself, but it's literally literally just peanuts and salt. Like that's it, nothing else. Flaxseed, ground flaxseed, which I was surprised that they had because I saw other flaxseed that wasn't ground chia. Just like for my smoothies. Basically, I just eat a smoothie every day. Chocolate chips. I haven't been able to get to the Sam's in a while, the Sam's in a while to get my um, nine pound bag or maybe it's like a six pound bag of chocolate chip. I feel like it's like nine pounds. Of, it's this huge yellow bag that I normally just like people dip into like every so often. Like that's like my chocolate fix is just eating chocolate chips. And I will usually eat it with like protein peanut butter. And oh, it's just so decadent. And then this was an impulse buy. There was only five grams of added sugar. I didn't even look at that. I was mostly just looking to see if there was like any like weird ingredients and there aren't. So it's basically just like juice, concentrates, um, and that's it, and fixing. I don't feel like going to Publix. I think I'm good now that I have these three things because I'll I, well, I need milk, but I'll do that another time. All right, we're gonna go home and I'm excited now to go to studio. Oh my God. <laughs> I just remembered that I have a bar class that I signed up for. Holy, um, it's at 1:45. I completely forgot about it. I was just sitting in the parking lot. I was like, "Yes, this muffin is so tasty. Let me just eat my donut here as well." Oh, I think I'll just go look around Aldi. Like, oh my god, I totally forgot I had that. Fortunately, I left early enough. Oh my god, I completely forgot about it. It's at 1:45, so it's 12:15 right now, which I know it's not like super close, but. Um, I don't really have time to go to studio because I also want to go to bars, so I have to figure out something else to do at the house for like two hours. I'm going to work on this when I get back from my exercise class. And so here I'm going to show you just what I have at the house in terms of oil paint supplies. It's not everything. I forgot to bring some stuff back home from studio. But to start, I have a jar of Gamsol. There's a spring in there to clean your brush. Okay, and then I have these two jars or like containers of colored paint, or I should say grayscale paint. I mix these myself, so they're scaled. They have a number for like where they fall on that line. But I just ordered um, or purchased, I'm not sure when I got these, um, just empty paint tubes. And I filled them myself um, at, when I ordered, hi Dorian. <laughs> Um, ivory black. This is a big uh, can of just ivory black paint and then a titanium white. Are they the same brand? One's, they're both Gamlin. What's this one? Also Gamlin. Okay. And then I just dip into those and I mix them together to make my values. Turn this over but basically each of those tubes gives you something along these lines. So black to white and so like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe. Um, so white being a zero and black being 12, I guess. I'm not really sure. And then this is still kind of squishy, is um, Gaukid. So I just used, well, I used to use, um, this is like a water bottle cap from like a smart water bottle for the Gaukid. And this is like a flattener, it like smooths your brush strokes and it also makes your paint dry quicker. I don't even know how old this paint is. It does feel kind of, like, kind of squishy still, but I don't know. I might as well just, yeah, there's paint on my hand. I don't even know the last time I used this thing. Then I have a variety of paint brushes and palette knives, so mixing knives here, a couple, like, really skinny brushes. Um, okay, we are on the way to bar right now. I'm a little bit late leaving. It's 1.35-ish. Class starts at 1.45. So I have like 10 minutes to be there. I'm almost there. Once we get back from bar, I'm gonna go to studio. So yesterday when I was like, oh, I don't have any, uh, I was like, I don't have, I've never bought any joggers. I've always, well, I have, but like I always return them. Well, I was mistaken. I actually have three pairs of joggers, but I don't call them joggers. They're like rock climbing pants and they're like Patagonia. Patagonia, they're from Patagonia. So they look like this. I have them in, um, this green color, I have them in a, uh, like a light gray, and then I also have them in a navy blue that has like a cool waistband. So, they're like, I don't know, they're for like rock climbing. So I got them, they're literally called like rock hempy, hempy, hempy pants, but like the knees are 
like reinforced. Also, funny story, this shirt is from Gamblin. I ordered this like probably like six years ago or something. Never wore it because when I got it, I was like, oh my God, this is so tight. It's, it is really tight. It's a medium, but I'm like, I don't really wear stuff that's like this tight. But actually, when you wear joggers, it's fine. <laughs> Here is my smoothie. It's um, coffee, I like co cold brew and cacao, and I added peanut butter, and flax, and chia. And this is a 1994 World Cup, Ireland versus Bulgaria Quidditch Cup. I got this in an Axio box. There's a nice scratch on it. It came like that. raining and I'm on the way to studio. Dorian's being so sweet and cute and I didn't want to leave him. I'll be here for maybe like four hours-ish or so and then do not let me change my mind. I have to go to the grocery store. I have to go to the grocery store. I need a test to see if the, the glass pieces with the foil will solder to steel. And if it doesn't solder to the steel, if it will solder to the bailing wire. And if it doesn't, I don't know. <laughs> if it doesn't do that, I don't know what to do. So we'll have to figure that out. I have another, I have a backup plan with the bailing wire. If it doesn't solder to the steel, I don't know if the bailing wire will solder to the steel. Um, like if I make little panels out of the bailing wire, I don't know. I just, I'm not hopeful, which is also why I just haven't started. We are here and I am cold. So I got an extension cord some more gloves and I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and start testing. There's still some things that I need to do with the, uh, the steel umbrella before I can really even put glass on it. Um, mostly just grinding down some of the metal that like the solder that looked bad. That one's pretty bad. So I don't know I just need to grind them down. Maybe this top one as well and I think I wanted to put the pole the post the handle in the, or on before I even started. I'm wearing a um respirator right now so it's hard to hear. Soldering iron, cleaning thing, some flexes in here. This is the brush that I use to flex this is solder. These I've had for a long time. I think it was like some of my first projects that I was doing so I have some extra uh glass that's already been like prepared and then I have some pieces of steel steel rod very satisfying noise but well, we're gonna see if this will solder to this and we're gonna see if it will solder to this and we're gonna see if it will solder to that as well so those three tests okay so good news it actually does solder to the steel that looks absolutely like absolute garbage um because there's like no end to like what the metal will solder to. It just looks completely terrible. I was like, well, what about doing like wrapping the foil around it? So that's what this one is. And this actually makes a really interesting like bead. So I might just wrap all my edges, all my, my like, uh, lines like this with foil. I'm eager to start now. I just want to start because I have so much loss. I've been wearing that respirator. Um, I literally have enough puzzle pieces, I think I can get going. So I decided to go ahead and start wrapping the steel rod with copper foil. It took forever, it took me a while to figure out how to do it. I figured it out, you just have to cut small pieces. But literally this used like almost an entire roll of copper. All right, getting su suited up here. I have a respirator on, and then this is a welding glove. It's for high heat. I have two of them, and I like to wear the one on the hand that's holding glass and solder. It's really, really saved my hands. It's amazing. I can actually hold hot things and have no issues with it. So anyway, once I got the, um, I didn't do the entire umbrella, but once I got a couple of the rods um, foiled with the copper, I was actually able to start soldering. So the 
glass pieces have foil on it the same way that the now rods have foil and so any part on the glass that has foil will get soldered and any part on the glass that doesn't have foil will not get soldered so you get nice crisp lines with the glass not the case with the metal rod so i gotta figure out something for that but it actually works it's actually working i'm amazed it's so cool and i was getting so excited because it was looking really good i had nice clean like solder lines um it was not falling apart it was strong the only issue that i have with it is just like the the foil wrapping around the rod because it had to be at an angle you know what i mean like instead of being just like all in one place you have to kind of tilt it so it it was a little bit wrinkly i don't know if that's making sense at all but as it wrapped up the rod, it was like kind of wrinkly. And so I don't love that it is like the tiniest bit messy. Like I don't think anyone else really noticed, but yeah, I'm getting so excited because it's working. I'm listening to like awesome music. Um, I don't think anyone else will super notice, but like I notice and like I'm worried that they're gonna be like really thick. And um, once I posted that I was doing the foil on Instagram, someone was like, well, why don't you copper plate? And copper plating would look super cool. Um, I don't know how to do it though. I don't know how to look into that, whatever. Well, and then I had my professor was like, well, why don't you just get a copper rod? So I looked into that. Oh my God. Solid copper rod in the same size as the steel. All of this steel costs like $18. The copper rod for eight pieces of the same amount, it's like $230 or something like that. That might be a little bit more, but like with shipping and tax, like it's insane how much it costs. Uh, I don't know. So I think I'm going to apply for like this research fellowship at the beginning of next semester to see if I can get some copper rod, um, you know, as a grant for my, my quote unquote research. Anyway, so this is just, you know, a sped up version and the next clip is going to be an even more sped up version <laughs> of just putting the glass in. So you just use the flux, you use solder and the heat to the solder onto the two metal pieces and then once it cools I don't really know how it works but it I don't know it looks I thought it looked really neat from down below and then I switch in the next clip so you can see it from the side so you see a little bit more of like actually what I'm doing I literally do not want to stop. I'm enjoying this so much. This is like so fun right now because it's just working so well. Everything is going like really easily. Oh, I love it. It's hot. This is oh, so cool. This is going to be awesome. I wonder how heavy it is right now. Yeah, this is going to have a lot of weight on it. Well, that's the plan. So I'm only pretty much doing the top part, but I've gotten a lot of good beads on, and then eventually I'll have to flip it over and do the bottom. Obviously this is not what the final weld, or the final solder is gonna look like. Some of it's a little bit messy, some of it is good. You don't need to be touched anymore, but sometimes I just have to wait for it to cool down before I do more. Like this one's pretty good. I might have to fix it up. This one's pretty good. Uh, this needs more help. So once it gets cleaned and everything, like this is a really, this is a clear piece of glass, but it's uh, it looks super foggy. So once everything gets cleaned up, it's gonna look so good. I'm so excited. It is now 8.30, so it's a little bit later than I was planning on staying, but I was just having such a good time with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and get cleaned up, bring my ex extension cord back into the storeroom and head out. And I'll be back maybe tomorrow, we'll see. So I'm on the way home, I think. No, I'm not, I have to go to the grocery store. So I'm gonna go do that. I almost forgot. I'm like, I'm gonna go home. No, I have to go to the grocery store. I also need gas. What is tomorrow? Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? Like every day of my life, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Uh, I don't know. Um, Drew called me earlier and he is saying that our friends that we went camping with this past weekend are wanting to play kickball this weekend. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that was confusing. Like just a pickup game of kickball. And I haven't played kickball since um a couple of years ago actually which seems odd but i was on a kickball league like on a kickball team it's called whack a kickball i had fun but i am nowhere near as good at like kickball as i was when i was a kid 
So it's just gonna be like a bunch of adults that are like gonna be playing kickball. Drew has has high hope for high hopes for us. He's afraid that we're gonna like hit somebody in the face. But like, dude, I cannot kick a kickball as far as I used to be able to. I used to I used to be I used to play soccer. I used to be a goalkeeper, and I could punt the ball to the other side of the field. Like I was in, like incredibly strong with the legs. You know, <laughs> this light is so crazy. Everything looks okay. I was like everything looks red like my eyes looked red my mouth looked red. That was super weird So that's cool. That will be this weekend Our anniversary is next weekend. So this will be our second anniversary is next weekend and he's gonna be out of town He's going on a mountain biking trip. This is gonna be the end of the video. We'll see you tomorrow <laughs> Thank you so much for watching like and subscribe like so that I can get my channel growing a little bit and subscribe so that I can get my channel growing a little bit and um, also so that you can be notified for when we post about updates to the same class that we're doing to the oil painting that we're doing etc etc and we'll see you then